Well, ever since the terrorist attacks, the number of Japanese tourists visiting Las Vegas has slipped just a bit. But tonight, 13 Inside Las Vegas reporter Dave Malkoff found something unique that could easily draw millions of tourists back. Strangely enough, you'll find it inside a popular Las Vegas gift shop. What yes. sizes are those? Just another day at the world's largest gift shop. Do we have any small, medium, or large? That is until... Hey, hey, tick one, two, one, two. The cameras start rolling. They're making a television, television commercial. I'm not sure. Actually, it's TV news, live to Japan. I produced for this morning show, Zoom In Super. Zoom In Super! Yeah, Zoom In Super Morning. The biggest morning show in the whole country. My name is Akiko Imai, reporter for Nippon Television, Zoom In Super. Today, with a little help from her crew, Akiko will take millions of Japanese viewers into our little gift shop. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 million? 20 million. Apparently, there's 20 million. This is just one part of a week-long Las Vegas series, including a stop at the Venetian. We had our reporter riding the gondolas and explaining that in Las Vegas, the casinos are based on themes, and a lot of times you get to feel like you're traveling around the world. This is my first time in Las Vegas. I really like here. Inside the satellite truck, they're definitely not on Pacific time. It's late afternoon, and all of those potential Asian visitors are just waking up. A lot of Japanese tourists are concerned about for traveling to United States. That's why they're here, to get the Japanese tourists back on the strip. Keep them interested in coming here and knowing it's a safe and exciting place to come. This week-long adventure wraps up tomorrow. They'll actually be at the Bellagio for another installment of Japanese television live from Las Vegas. We're at the world's largest gift shop. I'm Dave Malkoff, 13 inside Las Vegas. Perhaps complete with those big cowboy hats yeah. once again. <laughs> now, the show has been on the air for over 20 years. It's surprisingly similar to American network morning shows, complete with a window studio. So next time you're in Tokyo, check out Channel 4 on the television in your hotel room. I want to go there and do this program. Let's do it. We'll be right back.